Hello all, in this particular tutorial we will learn about the full versus ink middle backups in RMAN. RMAN full backup is a backup of data file that includes every allocated block in the file being backed up. A full backup can be a image copy in which case every data block is backed up. A full backup can be a backup set in which case data file blocks not in use may be skipped. To take the full backup, you will run the command backup database. If you want to take the archive log along with the backup, you can take backup database plus archive log. And if you want to delete the previous archive logs, you can, when you take the archive log backup, you can say backup database plus archive log delete all input. The incremental backups can be level zero or it can be level one. Level zero backup is a base backup for subsequent incremental backups. It copies all blocks containing data, is a full backup. So incremental level zero backup is also a full backup and is parent of incremental backup whose level is greater than zero. So this particular backup is a parent of all the level one backups. Now level one incremental backup can be of two types. It can be a differential incremental backup or it can be a cumulative incremental backup. A differential incremental backup is a backup which backs all the blocks changed after the most recent incremental backup at level one or zero. And cumulative incremental backup is the backup which backs all blocks changed after the most recent incremental backup at level zero. So the cumulative backup Cumulative backup will always refer the level zero backup. So if you take a cumulative backup, it will always refer the level zero backup. If you take the differential backup, it will take the base as either level one or level zero. So it will change. It will capture all the changes that happened since it can capture based on level zero or level one. By default, the incremental backup by default, incremental backups are differential in nature. So level one incremental backups are differential by default. Now let's understand this in a bit more. So let's think of this is a full level zero backup. So this is a full level zero backup and you take a cumulative backup on Monday. This cumulative backup will be the difference from last level zero full backup. So this is a level zero backup. This is a cumulative backup. So this cumulative backup is a difference that happened here. On Tuesday, on Tuesday, this particular backup this particular backup will be on Tuesday. If you take another cumulative backup, this will be also difference from this backup. It will ignore this backup. It will think that this backup never happened. So it will always capture the changes since the last level zero. So on. So on Wednesday, if you take another cumulative backup, it will capture the changes that happened since last Sunday or last level zero backup. So the cumulative backup is always the difference from last full backup. So full level zero backup. And the differential backup is the difference from last backup. It can be either full backup, it can be a delta backup, or it can be a cumulative backup. So it can be any level one or level zero backup. So now let's say this is a level zero full backup. You take a differential backup on Monday. This backup on Monday will be difference from what happened on level zero backup on Sunday. Now, if you take another Tuesday, it will capture the changes that happened since Monday. It will not go looking for this backup. It will not start capturing this. And since it is only capturing the changes that happened between Monday and Tuesday, the backup will be smaller in the size. And in case of cumulative, because it always goes back to the Sunday, the backup size based on the changes that happened on that particular day, if there are changes that happens every day, then the backup size will also keep on increasing. Here, the backup size will be based on what changes happen between Monday, Tuesday, between Tuesday and Wednesday. So the backup size here will be smaller. The backup size will keep on growing as and when you the difference, the changes are higher in the database. So now that we have understood what the final thing is, if you don't specify anything by default, Oracle will take a differential backup. So incremental backups are differential in nature. They are not cumulative in nature. And I'll come to that particular point. So here level one incremental backups are differential by default. So let's understand this. So if you if you see here, 
if I if I want to take a level zero backup, I'll say backup incremental level zero backup. If I want to take a differential backup, I'll say backup incremental level one database. And remember here that I'm not specifying the keyword deep cumulative. So when I don't specify anything, and if I just say incremental level one, then it is actually a differential in, in nature. It is a differential in nature, and it will it will be backup like this. It will not be cumulative backup. And if I want to take a cumulative backup, I have to use a keyword called cumulative. So if I use a keyword called cumulative, then it becomes the then it becomes the then it becomes this kind of backup. So if I don't specify anything, it is a differential backup. Now, along with all of this, you can specify this variation. So you can say plus archive log. You can also say backup incremental level one. I've not shown everything, but you can say backup incremental level one database plus archive log. So all of these commands, you can, you can use plus archive log or plus archive log delete all input. There are other variations which I have also not shown. Now, the difference between, this is the most important difference between full and incremental backup. A level zero incremental backup is a physically identical. So if you take a look at the backups, if you try to see any if there is a difference, then might be there might be some size, but they are they will be identical. So looking at the backup file, you will not be able to identify whether it's a full backup or whether it is a incremental backup. There might be that there, there will be a metadata which will be stored in that particular backup, which will tell Oracle that this is a level zero backup and this is a full backup. So it it will it will be oracle will be able to identify but if you take a look at it you will not be able to identify whether this is a full backup or whether it is a level zero backup now main difference is level zero backup can be used as a base for level one backup a full backup can never be used as a base for level one backup so this is very important if you if you take if you take if you take a full backup and if you try to take a incredible level one backup you can you cannot take it it will try to take a level zero backup it will not because you need to have a level zero backup for the incredible backup so this is very important so level zero backup is used as a base full backup is not used as a base now there is another concept called block change tracking that i would like to cover so the the, the, the block change tracking enables fast incremental backups. So what is block change tracking? It maintains a record of blocks that have changed since the last backup. So it maintains a record of blocks that have changed since last backup. It writes these records to a file and is used by backups to make backup faster. So every time, every time, if you don't have a block change tracking enabled, every time the backup happens, then that particular backup needs to go back. It, it needs to go back to the full backups it needs to go back to the full backup and it needs to identify how many data blocks have changed and then if there are significant amount of data changes then because it has to compare and find out what exactly changed the backup will take longer time to run if you enable block change tracking then all the changes that happened are stored in a separate file and when the backup Armin tries to take a incremental level one backup it reads this particular file it reads this particular file and it tries to identify what got changed and your backups run faster so block change tracking is a is a parameter that you need to enable to make your incremental level one backups faster now there are multiple options to enable one you can do is you can set the db create file dash parameter so you can set this particular parameter and then you can use the alter database command to enable block change tracking. If you don't want to set this particular parameter, then you can directly enable by running alter database command. So you can use the alter database and then when you run this alter database command, you will specify what is your block change tracking. So these are the options and we'll see both of these options. So option number one, you set alter system using the alter system set db create file dash, you will set this path scope is equal to both. And then you will say alter database enable block change tracking. And if you see here, I'm not specifying what is your block change tracking file. That is, if you don't want to set the db create file dash, you can say alter database enable block change tracking, alter database enable block change tracking using file. So you are telling Oracle what is the file which will be used as a block change tracking and where is the file stored and what is the name of the file. So this this you with this you don't have to set the db credit you can use both of these options if you want to verify whether the block change tracking is enabled you will use the uh, view called v dollar block change tracking it will tell tell you what, where, what is the name of the block change tracking file whether it is enabled etc etc so you can use this particular view now this, these are the some of the questions that i would like to cover before i show the de demo what if you take include level one backup without level zero backup now the answer is either the backup will fail or incremental level one backup will be taken as level zero backup. So both can 
be possible based on what kind of how the database has been set up you can have the backup fail or the level one backup will con will not when you try to take the level one backup it will not take it as a level one backup it will take it as a level zero backup so this it is possible that you, basically level one backup without level zero backup is not po not possible so level one backup without level zero backup is not possible if you take ingrid level one backup without specifying any keyword will it be cumulative backup or differential backup now i have covered this and let me answer this incremental level one backups are by default differential so if you don't specify any keyword they will be differential in nature they will not be cumulative backups so level one default backups are differential if you take incremental level one cumulative backups can you delete previous cumulative level one backups yes if you because the cumulative level one backups are the difference from the last full backup so if you take level zero backup and then you take level one cumulative backup then you take another level one cumulative backup you don't need the previous level one cumulative backup because this the new cumulative backup is actually difference from the last full backup so you can get rid of the previous cumulative level one backup so you don't need to keep all the cumulative level one backups if you take backups in below order level zero incremental backup full database backup level one incremental backup what is the base backup of level? So if you take level zero, then you take a full database backup and then you take a level one incremental backup. What is the base backup of level one backup? The level one ba base backup will be always level zero. It will not be full database backup because the, the level one backup is based on the level zero. So the level zero is the parent of level one. So it will not refer this particular backup. It will always look for level zero. So the level zero backup is the parent of your level one backup. So now that we have seen all the questions, let's go ahead and see this in tutorial. You don't have to watch this, but if you want to. So let's take a look if our, our database is on. And yes, it is on. So let me set the environmental variable. That's done. And now let, let me connect to the RMAN. And let's see if I have any backup. So list backup. Let's see if I have any backup of my database and right now looks like i do not have any backup so what i'll do is i will if i want to take a full backup i can say i can run any of these options there are multiple options as i shown you if you want to take the just a back, backup of the database you will say backup database if you want to take along with the archive log you will say backup database plus archive log and if you want to take the the backup all and delete the previous archive logs you can take this but we'll we'll stick with the simple command backup database we'll say backup database now what will happen is like the this one will take the full backup full backup not the incremental backup so this is the backup database this is not the incremental backup now if i run if i run list backup you you will find that this is the full backup here there is a keyword called full it clearly oracle clearly shows that this is the full backup right so this is the full backup now let me try let me try to take the incremental level one backup without level zero so you can see that we have only one backup and that is a full backup we don't have the level zero backup so let me try to take a backup incremental level one ba backup so let me try to take a incremental level one backup so let me exit clear and let me connect to the rman and what i'll do is i will say I'll try to take a level one backup and what what do you think will happen will it be a level one backup or will it be a level zero backup if i'm not wrong then this will be level zero backup it will not be a level one even though i'm trying to take a level one backup the first it needs the level zero backup so oracle will identify that there is no level zero backup and it will try to take this as a level one backup let's see if it works so you can see that even though I said backup incremental level one, it actually changed this to incremental level zero. It changed this to level zero backup. And now if I do list backup, if I do, let me exit and let me clear and let me run list backup. And let's see what backup we have. And you can see that the, the first one was the full backup. And this is actually incremental level zero. You hear there is a level. and I actually said, I actually said incremental level one backup. So what exactly happened is like that incremental level one backup was converted to the level zero backup and Oracle took this as a level zero backup. Now let me show it to you before trying to take a level one backup. 
let me connect to the session one more time and let me go to that particular location and ls minus lrt and under this and you can see we got and if you if you notice something here so there are two backups the this is 9b so let's go back here this is a 9b which is a full backup so this is a 9b ending with 9b which is a full backup and this is lr which is a incremental so remember the keywords 9b and lr and if i go here 9b and lr if you take a look at the size 157997465615799 1579974566 so if you take a look at this particular backups you will not be able to identify whether this is a level 0 backup or whether it is a full backup oracle knows oracle knows that this is the full backup this is a level incremental level 0 backup but looking at this there are ways to identify it by looking at the metadata etc header information etc etc there are ways to find it out but i would not go into all of those details but looking identically they are similar what i wanted to show you is identically both of these particular files are similar now now if i try so i'm going to try the same command again and if i try to take the level one backup will it will i be able to take the level one backup now and the answer is yes this time the oracle will take the level one backup rather than level zero backup because it knows that there is a level one backup and you can say starting in the level one backup so now it has taken a level one backup and if i say list backup of database and you can see that we have got three backups one is the full backup next one is incremental level zero backup and then incremental level one backup and if i show you the size of this particular backup if i show you the size of this particular backup then this particular backup is much smaller it is much smaller in the size i do not know whether it is this one so let's say v w3 yeah this is the one and you can see the size it's pretty small so the level zero backup level one backup is always smaller in size because and what is the use of level one backup the backups are faster and at the same time you store on the save you you save on the storage you don't you do, it doesn't use a lot of the storage now we have seen all of this let's end our tutorial with enabling the blockchain tracking to to take a look at whether the in a blockchain tracking is enabled you will use the v dollar blockchain tracking so let's take go to the database sql plus as this dba select star from v dollar block change tracking so this one you can see it it has no records it's completely empty so let's create a directory this is where the blockchain tracking will be stored so let's clear let's go to that location and you will be able to find that that particular directory is completely empty total zero so what we will do we will say alter database enable blockchain tracking the directory that we just created what is the name of the blockchain tracking file so blockchain tracking file dot cng let's run this particular command that's done now let's verify using the same view and you can see we got the file it is enabled so, so blockchain tracking is enabled and this is the file and let's go back to that particular location and here if i run ls minus l we have this particular bct.change the name same file that we specified here we have got that particular file created and this particular file will be used by the oracle to take the fast incremental backup so the blockchain tracking will be used by the oracle to take the fast incremental backup because now oracle doesn't have to read all the data blocks it will identify what change using this so the backups your level one backups will be faster i hope this particular tutorial was useful in this particular tutorial we learned the difference between the full versus incremental rman backup and again at the end i would like to say if you do like the channel if you do like the videos that i'm uploading do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial Till then, bye-bye and have a nice smile on your face and nice day. Thank you.